All right, here we are. Welcome back. I hope y'all can hear me for another Tuesday for Therapeutic Art. I'm your host today, Sarah Serrano Esquilin. Um, I will be covering um, Leah's classes for the next couple of months as she is away, um, tending to some important family business. Um, and so until then, I will hold down the fort until she comes back and then we'll resume our bi-weekly classes. Um, I hope things are going well on your end. It feels like forever since the last time I've seen you all. So welcome into the space. We are going to be exploring um, emotions today. And um, what I like to do is usually allow everyone a five minute start in the beginning of class, um, just to trickle in. Uh, feel free to grab a variety of art materials that you would like to use. Um, and I will be repeating the material list very shortly again. Um, oh, hi, welcome. Greetings from Maine. Hello from Italy, India. Beautiful. Morocco. Wonderful. Hello, Greece. Oh, I just dropped my marker. Let's see. So one thing about working from home is I'm still getting used to like the nooks and crannies that my desk leaves open for things to fall through and then I get stuck. So there we go. Got it back. Good evening. Hello. So um, for those that don't know, I am in New York on the East Coast. So it is morning on my end. So good morning. I see some good evenings. It's so wonderful that you were able to carve out some time to join us today. I'm very honored to have you all here. Hello from Turtle Island, beautiful, Missouri, Boston, England, London. It's so great to have you all. And we're going to get started in about three minutes. So some of the art materials you'll be needing for class today, always, every single class that I host, it will always depend on what you feel comfortable using. And probably after hearing what we will be creating, that is where your intuitive self might begin to kick in with, hmm, I want to paint or maybe I want to draw. And as I mentioned earlier, we are going to be talking about emotions today, feelings. Um, and although I am an art therapist in training, I am not the art therapist for the class, which means that we will not be processing um, all of these experiences. And I always recommend that if you do want to seek support, then I advise seeking out a certified and licensed art therapist, a psychologist, a counselor um, to dive deeper into some of those um, things that you would like to uncover and explore. But the goal with therapeutic art is really to create a space for yourself where you find a connection to materials that can really help you to feel grounded and relaxed. So a little bit different than art therapy. It's sometimes always a little confused um, when class happens. So um, I see someone said an LCSW. Yeah, a licensed social worker. I, I, you know, in this class, I like to give a little bit of myself and share some of that vulnerability with you. Um, when I first dived into therapy for myself, the first person I, well, yeah, the first person I saw was a licensed social worker and very wonderful person. So, you know, on that journey for yourself, you will end up connecting with who you feel comfortable with, you know, and they will help guide you in that professional setting. Um, so it's so wonderful to see you all. We still have about 30 seconds. I'm going to, yeah, let's do 30 seconds. And then I'm going to just dive right into today's conversation um, because I am hoping to have some input um, from y'all in the chat box with this conversation. And 
for today's art materials. I know I have some people that are just joining us from wonderful places all around the world. Um, when it comes to therapeutic art and the classes that we host here at Society X, um, the goal is for you to just reach for art materials that you feel the most comfortable. And the reason why I do this is because one, this isn't a class on technique. Um, we don't focus on how to get better at drawing or how to get better at painting. The goal with this class is really to, again, get in touch with those art materials that you feel the most comfortable. Get in touch with yourself so that you can feel grounded, that you can understand your intuitive self, explore what it feels to relax, and to create your own safe space wherever you may be in the world. And so what I like to do is I have a little shelf here. Um, I like to recycle as well. So let me just show you. Oh, I'm dropping things. But like I recycle cans, um, you know, it's great for the environment. Um, so feel free to reuse containers, reuse jars. Um, my goal is to hopefully encourage you all to create like art materials and space that can be just reduced, reuse, recycle from, you know, the materials we have here at home. All right. So it is officially six minutes into class. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um, I know that people are going to be joining us here and there throughout class. So I will repeat the directions later on. I just really want to dive right in into the work. Um, and so I had a really interesting conversation with someone earlier this week, and we were talking about just what does it look like when we present ourselves to people versus what people are seeing, right? And what we are feeling internally. And so that had me thinking about how can we translate that into the artwork and to the materials that we're using and to our self-expression. And that had me thinking about creating pieces that showcase a duality with ourselves. Um, and one side is how we are feeling inside, right? Um, sometimes we can have multiple emotions. Um, you might feel really exhausted. So maybe that is something you're feeling inside. Maybe you're feeling grief. Maybe you're actually feeling so happy and excited, right? And so that is one side of the duality. The other side of the duality is the side that we are presenting to people. A lot of us might be working from home right now, um, or maybe you are an essential worker who is going into hospitals. You are an essential worker if you are a waiter at a restaurant, right? Um, a janitor, all of these people, you are all so important, no matter where you are with work outside or inside, right? Um, and so we are presenting ourselves to people, um, right? You have to have like a professional demeanor. You're like, good morning. How are you today? There might be some small talk and the person's like, how are you doing today? And you're like, I'm fine, right? And you're presenting yourself to this person as I'm fine, right? Maybe they're not close to you, or maybe they're your best friend, but you don't really have time to like talk about it right now. Um, but there is that split duality, right? Um, I quickly drew something on a whiteboard. I'm going to be using um, this whiteboard that I have on my desk um, just to really help with like some examples here. Um, so just for, don't judge me, I did not put any time in this, but um there is this like duality right maybe you're feeling grief inside and for those that have been with me on my journey um with society acts um some of you might already know that i have lost some family members to you um to to me oh my gosh to covid and um it's been really difficult you know last week i had to take off um from teaching class because I had to, you know, take care of my family. And sometimes these things are going to happen when we're experiencing some really difficult experiences. And so I was reflecting, this is a quick drawing, right, of what I was feeling internally. 
feeling some grief on the inside, but maybe what I present to others, right? When I have to jump into like a Zoom meeting or, you know, maybe I'm just catching up with a friend and maybe I'm not really comfortable um, speaking with them yet because the emotions are so much. Um, my hope is that we can create some peace today in class to just reflect or to showcase the dualities that we are all experiencing right now. And I really do anticipate um, our pieces looking dramatically different, right? Which is the best part because we are all unique individuals. Um, our styles are unique. Um, and with this process, I'm racing as I'm going, with this process, there is no right or wrong way to do it. Okay, so you can create an image of a person. You can split it in half. You can showcase that duality of the internal, the inside, or the external, what you show on the outside. Um, I, I love summer to share. There's something symbolic about reusing medication bottles to express something. I really like where you're going with that, right? Maybe using a medication bottle to show what is on the inside, right? You might want to open it. You can put items on the inside, close it, showcase what's on the outside by creating a different label. Again, wherever you want to go, you might want to, if you have a shoe box, right? You might want to get a box and on the outside of the box, you might want to decorate it, right? So maybe you want to put ribbons, make it look like a gift box. Maybe you don't. Maybe you want to add some textures to it, right? Maybe you want to draw lines. Up to you. So maybe you're using a shoe box. You're showing, right, what you're presenting to other people. And then when you open your box, your box might look incredibly different. Right. So maybe the inside of your box, um, maybe the inside of my box, I'm going to put some candy because I had some sweet moments or maybe I want to put let's I'm making things up off the top of my head with this because it is really such a personal experience, maybe a tissue. Right. You want to fill in the box with whatever it is so you can paint you can draw, you can use clay to show that. Um, Emily, tea boxes are also good for that. I really love that, right? So some things that you can use today in class. I wanna make sure, oh, this is this gonna be backwards? Oh dear, it's gonna be backwards. Um, I might have to practice writing backwards. I'm gonna write over here in the chat box some examples that you can use based on some of the comments that are coming in. And I'm wondering if I have so many people in class today just hearing me speak about dualities, about inside and outside. Can you all begin to suggest what type of items we can use to create? And I'm just gonna start making a list here and then we are gonna share that in the chat box. So we have, you can use paper, divided in half. We can use tea boxes. Emily, that is such a great one. Tea boxes, you can use shoe boxes. You can use medication box, um, medication box, medication <laughs> bottles. Um, I love that. Uh, Martha said envelopes. Yeah, envelopes is a great one. Let's see. I'm loving these that are coming in. Let's see. Mm, buttons, magazine collages. Yeah, right. You can collage your image, right? If you don't want to paint, draw, color, feel free to use some of that. Soap boxes. I love that. Um, Hmm, mini suitcases, right? You can use, um, if you want to make a mask, you can even make a mask out of paper. So I'm going to drop that down, right? You can make a paper mask. Um, your mask on the front can be what you are showing to others. And then when you flip it over on the inside, you can put how the inside, right? The internal side is feeling. Cereal boxes, yes, y'all are so on point, right? 
we are really beginning to use our creative muscles to tap into what we have around us, right? It doesn't have to be fancy. Um, a bag, yeah, right? Bags of all shapes and sizes. Ooh, Anja, pillowcase. Ooh, I like that. I thought I had my glasses with me. I do not. Um, paper box lid, pencil and pencil boxes. I am loving these. All right, so I'm just gonna drop a few of these examples here in the chat box um, for y'all to reference if you need to. Feel free to copy and paste if you are on a desktop. If you wanna take a screenshot of it, you can, or if you wanna quickly just jot it down on a piece of paper. Do what works for you. Um, again, this is your space, right? Um, Summer said, interesting, envelopes in order to show what we often, oh, I love that, often must seal up and get through a process of mailing encompassing all of the tasks that mail must fulfill, right? So there's so much symbolism, right? There's metaphor um, and all of that, right, can mean something different for all of us. There, you'll, you might realize there are some similarities between us. Um, and I love what something might mean for one person might be something entirely different for someone else. So I want to really encourage you all to reach for materials, you know, Sharpies, you can reach for crayons, you can reach for a pen and paper. And I want you to start tapping into what you're feeling. And for something like this, what might feel maybe a little overwhelming because you're like, uh, I'm having a lot of emotions. I'm really not sure where to start. What I like to do here is to, if I'm sitting in a chair, is to plant both feet on the ground, right? Um, you might want to take your hands. You can take your hands and place it on your lap, right? My palms are holding onto my, my thighs or maybe they're on my knees. Okay, um, and this really helps ground. You can begin to just maybe close your eyes for a moment. Or maybe you don't wanna close your eyes and you're feeling a little uncomfortable. Feel free to drop your gaze down to the ground and you can just spot a little, maybe design on the floor, a texture, a little spot. And doing something like this, like some mindful meditation or a breathing exercise can really help to anchor us when we begin our process of creating this duality. And so I am just modeling an example for you. Feel free to take this moment to inhale and exhale. And I know that not everyone does meditation, but one thing I know that we all do is that we all breathe in oxygen. And feel free to just take a moment to inhale and exhale. And all you're doing is noticing your breath. There's nothing fancy to it. And if you feel that you begin to think about, what am I going to create for this class? Or, oh, it really needs to be perfect. I'm not sure. I want you to just acknowledge those moments and just let it go. Bring yourself back to your breath because that's the only thing that matters right here in the present moment. And inhale. And exhale. Your feet are firmly planted on the ground. Your hands are on your lap. And there is no right or wrong way to create in this space. This is a time where you are worthy of expressing yourself. You have carved out this time for you. We're just gonna take the next rest of class to make space for these emotions 
and your emotions are going to be kept in a safe, safe place, right? Your emotions are going to be on the paper, or maybe in a box, and it's going to be grounded and protected. It's going to be safe. Do the very best you can, right? There is no sure way of ever keeping anything safe, but we can do our best to bring ourselves back to our breath if we ever feel like it's too much. Other things that are in our control are if things do ever feel too much when creating artwork in any class, we can take a break. You have the power and control or your choices right here in your art making process. So listen to yourself, listen to your intuitive self. It's going to tell you what it needs. Inhale and exhale. And we're going to just inhale and exhale one more time together. And we're going to bring ourselves back into the space. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes nice and gently and begin to open your eyes. All right. So we are back in the space and this is just a little something for you to just maybe come back to while you are art making. Feel free to just check in with your breath, right? If you're breathing too fast, take it easy. Come back to your breath. And slowly just inhale and exhale. Also notice, right, if you are creating art, are you holding your breath, right? Sometimes um, I can share, I've had a really, really bad habit of holding my breath while art making. Um, and I actually didn't notice it until my friend pointed it out. And she said, Sarah, Sarah, are you breathing? I'm noticing you're not breathing while you're art making. And I'm like, oh, yeah, oh my gosh. And I had so much tension here. I had tension here and in my shoulders, right? But it takes practice and it takes um, time becoming aware of our bodies, right, in this process. And again, my hope is that while you are working, is that you are not only identifying your emotions, but that you're also becoming aware of your body in the space. All right, and so I'm just gonna catch up with some comments. Feel free to get started. Maybe you wanna have some music playing in the background. Um, I always recommend put on some breathing. Oh, I let me see, have you tried? Um, Jess, can you retype your sentence for me? Um, cause I'm not quite sure what you're trying to say. I did catch the tail end of breathing. Uh, Melissa said, what about a jar paint outside and fill with hidden feelings, emotions? Absolutely. That's really, really clever. Uh, Rebecca also said a jar glasses cases. Yes, absolutely. Kavita. <laughs> I love this. Um, I will not close my eyes as it's 11 PM here and I might just doze off. That's totally fair. <laughs> um, Karen said, I just found some white paper mask on Amazon, ordering it now for future projects. I love that. Yes, feel free. Bottles, it's afternoon in Brighton. Guys. Oh, Gwen, let's see. Oh, oh, I have not. Okay. Sometimes. Well, I like to say most of the times is that y'all are my greatest teachers too. I am just going to jot that down because I will check into it later. Thanks so much. All right, Melissa. A poem written about the perception and the internal processes. Um, thank you. Um, Lisa, this year I've, uh, this year I've collected memorable, joyful moments and filling a genie lantern. Then at the end of the year, I can look back and be grateful for the simple things. I love that, right? So being able to 
repurpose things that we might consider, you know, unordinary, right? The everyday items and turning it into something really special. What does your inside and outside look like? Kavitsa said that's a nice way of journaling. Yes, it really is. All righty. Let's see. All right. So I'm also going to get started with my process with making this piece. And I am going to show y'all that I am going to be working with. If I can. Here we go. So I'm going to go with someone's recommendation earlier and wonder. Let's see who said this. I can find Martha. Martha made this recommendation about using envelopes and it's actually something that I wanna try. So I'm gonna be using this small envelope and I picked this size mainly because it's something that if I really, really love it at the end, I might wanna pop it into my wallet or maybe slip it into a journal, maybe even like on the corner of my mirror, if I can like shove it into that little piece, just somewhere that maybe I want it to be special. So I'm gonna work on my inside outside. It is going to get quiet now for the next couple of minutes. Um, I will check in with the comments in a little bit, um, but I really wanna encourage everyone to just focus on what they are working with. Again, I will check comments in just a little bit. So I wanted to just let you all know that in about 10 minutes, I am gonna invite um, the first five people who hit the speak button on screen with me. 
just to show what they're making. You don't have to be done um, with your work today at all. You can show a half finished project. You can share an idea that you had and anything that is incomplete, you can always feel free to tag us and we will share it or share it in the Facebook group as well.
All right, we have about four more minutes. Um, and then I'm going to start inviting you all here to speak. Um, again, it's the first five, as unfortunately, we don't have enough time or um, virtual space to have everyone on screen. Um, again, but feel free to share that in our Facebook group as well. Um, and we'll be dropping links in just a moment. Alrighty, so I'm going to drop some links for you all here in the chat. Um, this is where to find me and classes and all of Facebook groups that I am currently in and running. Feel free. Let's see. Let's see. Mm. Let's see. Oh, Kiara, that sounds really beautiful. Oh, hey, Terry, I'm sorry. I'm just seeing your comment now. Um, yeah, so Terry, um, Pretty much today's class was just reflecting on what we are feeling on the inside and what we are presenting to others on the outside. So we're doing a piece that showcases the duality of our emotions um, and whether or not, right, like sometimes when we present to others, we have to do it because, you know, professional reasons, we have, gotta, we have to go to work, we got to, you know, be strong if we are feeling sad, grief, um, maybe anger, um, or maybe um, you're feeling so much excitement, but you got to hold on to it till later. Um, everyone in the chat also suggested different types of mediums and uh, materials that they could use as well. Um, so feel free, right? Like you can use a shoe box, you can use envelopes, paper, cereal boxes, bottles and cans. Um, and don't worry, a replay will be sent to you um, at the end as well. I think it's generated within the hour, so feel free to just rewatch it if you need to. Alrighty, so I have two hands raised. Um, 
again, first come, first serve. Um, once these five presenters are on, I will not be able to take any more uh, virtual hands after that. Um, again, I dropped the links um, in the chat, so feel free to just tap on those links, copy and paste them for later so that y'all can share your work. Remember, it's not a race. You don't have to be done now. So we're gonna hang out tight just for a moment while everyone enters the space. Um, feel free if you are comfortable, begin to turn on your camera. Um, um, hi, Denise, don't worry about being late. I, uh, Karita or Karita, um, no worries, y'all. Um, you will get a replay of this video and I will be hosting every Tuesday until Leah gets back and then we're going to resume our bi-weekly classes. Um, so in the meantime, feel free to hit that mute button and then hit your camera on, I think it's the upper left-hand corner. And then we are going to just begin to welcome everyone into the space. Hi. Welcome. Hi. So we're just going to give a couple more minutes just so that we don't have anyone um, being interrupted while they're speaking. And I think I have space for one or two more people. Um, hmm. Let's see. I'm just helping some people troubleshoot if possible. Um, I will say if you are having any technical difficulties, um, I know that some people have, you know, sworn by using Chrome to get in. Um, so try that. Um, and if not, maybe go as close as possible to your router. Um, and if you are unable to share your piece, then, you know, you're always welcome to share your piece in the Facebook group. If you want to post a video of yourself speaking about it um, or just post a photo and write a caption, totally up to you. Um, so I see that some people are having some technical difficulties. All right. So why don't we get started so that um, Summer and Siobhan? Siobhan? Yes? Yes. Okay, great. I'm always worried. I'm like, I don't want to mess up anyone's names, but thank you. If I say it wrong, correct me. <laughs> um, Jess, I think I tweeted my photo last time. Um, sorry, I don't use Twitter. So Jess, I will not see it unless Society X, um, their platform, if they're on Twitter, they might catch it. Um, and I'll talk to Society X to see about that. Um, but yes, yeah, so Facebook and Instagram are the only two platforms that I'm utilizing right now. I can't do any more social media after that, y'all. <laughs> All right, Siobhan, would you um, do us the honor of sharing first? Awesome. Hi, everyone. Um, so I did my piece on a recycled piece of cardboard box from some unpacking I've been doing after moving. Um, and I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. Is this where, where we can turn the camera around? Um, you know what? I've actually never had that question before. I'm going to okay. say, I'm going to say there, you might right. be able to, if you check the, I would say check the upper left-hand corner. Mm -hmm. See if there is a button that you can, oh, I think we're having some technical difficulties with a lot of people. Um, okay, so I will just turn it and hope you can see some of it. It's quite big because a lot of my feelings are quite big. I love that. Um, so okay. over <gasps> here you've got, ah. like, what I present to the world at the moment. I have um, immune problems and a chronic heart condition, so I'm mostly trapped inside, away from people. I live on my own. Um, so... Every, anything everybody sees of me is me wearing my mask um saying stay away <laughs> keep oh. your distance 
Um, and then over here is kind of uh, what's going on in my mind, um, sort of going over and over thoughts and really kind of being quite lonely and feeling quite trapped um, and sort of mm -hmm. hooked into my thoughts and very sort of exposed and uh, vulnerable. Wow. And then over here is uh, my heart that feels quite caged, like I can't express it a lot at the moment because I don't get a lot of human contact. Um, and this is the child inside of me that's really scared and doesn't know what to do. <laughs> so it's quite heavy. Um, but that is my and it, it is all welcomed. Thank you. I really appreciate you sharing such a vulnerable, vulnerable piece with everybody here. Oh my gosh. And it's, it is very beautiful. It's such a striking piece. Um, you know, if you'd like to take a photo and share it with us, you know, on Facebook so that those that are having a hard time, um, seeing the, the video right now, um, in class, feel free. You don't have to, if you don't want to, um, but I just really love that you were able to just share, right. Your experiences and what it's like to just you know, say, hey, I'm unable to connect with people physically and I'm over here, I'm isolated. But you are connected with us here on Therapeutic Art and there are a hundred, literally 103 people here who are witnessing your work. Um, so virtually you won't be alone with us. So thank you for sharing that. Thank you. I very much appreciate that. Thanks mm -hmm. everybody. Feel free, Siobhan, if you want to hang on tight, if you want to stay on camera and stay with us, don't feel like you need to exit out of the camera. You are welcome to stay in this chat, okay? All right. Summer, I'm going to pass the virtual mic to you. Um, oh, real quickly, um, I'm getting so many beautiful um, comments to you, Siobhan. I'm not sure if you're able to see it. Um, so um, I'm seeing a lot of hearts. Good you are here, so glad for the online community. Thank you so much for sharing, I'm very impressed. Thank you for sharing, smiley face. Thank you for sharing your piece, you're so brave. Um, the most meaningful things to me are on the outside of my body, but they're always covered with clothes. Someone said, wow, amazing, your art transmits a lot of emotions. Thank you for sharing. Um, someone said, I am the same, immunodeficiency, autoimmune conditions, homebound, alone and scared. You are not alone. Thank you so much. I, th I thought that was beautifully raw and very authentic. Take so much courage to share. That's one step closer to finding peace. So powerful and beautifully done. Someone said, sending my virtual hug to you. We all miss human contacts to some extent at this strange time. And thank you for sharing so, ra so raw and honest. So a lot of comments, Siobhan, and just a reminder that you are not alone in this virtual space with us. Thank you for Thank sharing. Thank you so much, everybody. Summer, virtual mic to you. <laughs> okay, wow, this this is my first time and I am not technology. I've, I actually swore off social media just before COVID. No. <laughs> So, I brought you back. Well, this is kind of my first time. I haven't even been, I haven't joined Facebook back. Um, well, I want to share my project. Um, I just moved from Florida about three months ago to Texas. Uh, had uh, our 21 year old stayed in Florida. Our, my 18 year old graduated and stayed in Florida. And she's, you know, a teenager. Um, I have a 16 year old special needs son and a four year old toddler. Mm -hmm. And my, uh, I became a stay at home mom a couple of years ago. Um, and it, moving here, getting my, getting my son set up for school. Um, the toddler, the, uh, we're, I've still a work in progress just in the house alone. Uh, my husband is. Oh, I lost you. Hold on. You're muted. Check your mic. Yeah. I don't want to miss out on what you have to say. Okay. I told you I'm not technology. It's okay. Um, it's okay. <laughs> my, uh, my husband and I were both therapists, which means that, you know, we have nothing under control. 
<laughs> That's the best thing. We're, all, we're all crazy. Yeah. Um, well, this uh, coming, moving over here, you know, it was a transition and trying to get medications set up and it just was not a good time. Um, still working through it. But I had all of these giant post-it notes of varying sizes that uh, as I've gone through and just, you know, stressed over it, over all of these things that I've been working with and crumbling them up and everything. Um, I've been on a focus about my tree now, me. This, I'm tree. My branches are dying because mm. my fruit, <laughs> my teenagers, and I concern over you know over them, and it's a very difficult time. And then COVID, <laughs> you know. So, um, I have an eating disorder, so I've my tree has went dwindled. Mm. But I am taking all of these and cutting them up tearing them up, using razor blades, using scissors um, as much as I can and crumpling them up and using varying things. I'm using hodgepodge, I'm using tape, I'm using binder clips, I'm using spray glue. Mm. Um, and then when I get finished with this, getting all of these together, I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to spray paint it a tree, <sighs> a brown tree green tree oh whatever a, a real tree oh because i i do have a lot of branches and if my branches fall off well i, I learned i was a single mom for a long time and i i learned is you can't stop mm -hmm. <laughs> and i've learned that i it's hard to take a break mm -hmm. Um, especially with a four-year-old, do, you know do you know how much effort it took in getting an hour mm -hmm. away? I oh. locked the door. I have her downstairs with paint and pumpkins, and I just said, I don't care what you do. What you mess up. Doing your own artwork. Oh, I'm so happy you were able to find time yeah. to connect with us. Yes, I love it. I, I just, there were so many things. I'm ADD as anything. And there, I, this is my, I, I created this room as is called my happy room. Mm. Um, it has all, it, every different kind of art thing you can imagine. My son is very creative too, you know, but it just, it just settled on me. You know, I, yeah. this is my tree and the stuff is done, is getting done. And I'm going to go make it a beautiful tree and hang it on my wall. Oh my gosh. You know, Summer, feel free. Like if, you want to share with us later on your process, um, you can always shoot me an email. Um, and if you want me to share it on Facebook myself through my, my space, I can always just share it. Uh, if we want to keep off of social media. Well, I'm, 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 I think of what I'm going to do. I have family and teenagers. I just, I have to be, they have to stay in Florida and I have to stay in Texas. Oh, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> it's just, you know, during the trying times, you know, 18 year olds oh. and empty net. I'm an empty nester kind of, but mm. you know, she blames COVID on me. So it's, oh my gosh, it's terrible. It, it's a yeah, challenge. I, I appreciate so much vulnerability in this space. And thank you for sharing your just, you know, the tears and the laughter with us. Thank you. You know, you showcase your authenticity and, you know, your, your story. Um, I, I really do hope that you're able to continue to find time with us every Tuesday, you know, that hour. You deserve it. So thank I, you so much. I got it blocked. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, we will definitely be seeing you next week. Absolutely. So feel free to stay on um, camera with us. Hang out with us. This is our community. This is our space. I want to check in with, is it Kiara? So it's spelled Kiara, but it's pronounced Kiara. Kiara. Yep. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure. Nice to meet you and welcome, you know, to Therapeutic Art. Um, you're going to be our last presenter for the space tonight. Well, tonight. Oh, my gosh. This morning <laughs> on my end. <laughs> so feel whatever free. Whatever time it is, wherever right? you're at. <laughs> 
All right. So what I did, I did the flower in the vase thing. I haven't gotten my flowers out of the vase yet, but I just okay. finished drawing my, or painting my outside representation. So, let's see. All right, here it is. Um, I'm not the best at art, especially oh. acrylic painting. I'm better with watercolor. <laughs> That's okay. This is a judgment-free zone. This is not a <laughs> class. This is, you know, the hour where everyone's going to cast out their judgment, any other feelings. This is all you, and what you create is still worth it, okay? Cool. All right, so up top, that pink flower, we got responsible because I'm pretty, pretty good at keeping up on my responsibilities. Take my rent on time, go to work, <laughs> make sure I, I stay responsible. I'm helpful mm -hmm. with the orange flower right there. I try to do anything and everything I can to like help my mom out, help coworkers out, help my brothers out, friends. Mm -hmm. Loving, I got too much love in this world to give, too mm -hmm. much, <laughs> too much. And then fun, oh, I got fun right there because it's hard not to make anything fun. Life is boring and dumb and hmm. uh, you have to add fun to everything like hmm. this painting is fun <laughs> and then I, I, I try to stay as bright as possible oh, I, don't know. I try, try to I keep my that. spirits up <laughs> keep a smile on my face I try to every everybody in my path I try to get them to smile Freaking! My favorite thing to do is when I'm driving and I'm passing somebody and I smile at them and they smile back at me. It's just my favorite. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's so nice um, to have that reciprocated back to us, especially yes. you know, when there's so yes. much happening. Um, knowing that you cause a smile on other people's face can put the biggest smile on my face. Like, oh. I don't know. And then I haven't, I haven't been able to get to my insides yet but okay. that's a little bit deeper darker not as gloomy <laughs> um, yeah and you know what that's something that you know you can do at your own pace um, and you can share whenever you're ready mm -hmm. definitely definitely very life's been very stressful I'm sure we can all agree especially this year <laughs> this yeah. year is when something else put a damper on a lot of us Mm. Yeah. For sure. So it's been hard to keep some stuff out of my mind, definitely, but. Yeah. But you know what? You are here. You are present with us. You know, I just want to like, just let you all know, all three, um, just so much hope and resiliency that you have all showcased with all of us, you know, that vulnerability and bravery. And this is what keeps us all going, right? Being resilient and also remembering to take a break. Even if it's 10 minutes, just take a short break. You guys are wonderful. Y'all are wonderful. Mm -hmm. And so many people are just, you know, in the chat, by the way, everyone is just saying, you know, your art is beautiful, sending lots of love, virtual hugs. Um, everyone, oh, one can never have or get too much love. There's so much that you guys are all sharing that people connect with in different levels. So thank you for that. Um, I know that our time is officially cut off and we have so much more that I wish we can just talk about and share. Um, but we will meet next week. What I like to do is just hold up and it's up to you if you want to stay on camera. I take a picture and we share it um, in our group. So feel free. I'm going to hold up my piece as well. And I'm going to take a little screenshot and share. So um, feel free if you want to take the picture with us. All right. Ready. Let me know. Here we go. In three, two, one. All right, y'all. Thank you so, so much. Um, so much love and, oh, my gosh, support coming your way. Um, Please continue, if you can, join us again next Tuesday. We're going to continue to explore with different art mediums. Again, bring what you have at home. It's not a fancy class. All right? And I'll see you guys and y'all, excuse me, not guys. I'll see y'all next week. Okay? Bye.